it's your girl Brooke and welcome to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video. We are going to be making a Christmas care package for Danny. I'm so excited. If you have not seen my video from last month when I made a Thanksgiving care package, I will put the link to that video in the description box below for you guys if you'd like to check that out if you're interested. If not, that's okay too. But today we are going to be putting together Danny's Christmas care package. I'm so excited. I went Black Friday shopping so I got the majority of his gifts already. I have a few things that I had to order online but that's okay. They're supposed to be coming in the mail later on this week. I tend to ramble in my intros and I'm trying to get better about that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into this video, shall we? For those of you who don't know, Danny is currently on deployment. So getting his Christmas gifts has been really interesting because I want to make sure that I'm going to get him things that he's actually going to want to use or things that he wants. But I'm also limited on what I can send him. Anytime I ask Danny what he wants for Christmas, homeboy tells me that he doesn't want anything and he leaves me having to fly solo. What makes it really challenging is Danny is the kind of person where if he wants something, he's going to just go buy it himself. He's not going to wait. I told Danny, do not buy yourself anything until after Christmas. I don't care what it is. Don't buy yourself anything. Just wait and see what you get for Christmas from me. And then you can go haywire buy whatever you want. He is one of the hardest people ever to shop for. So it's been challenging trying to find gifts that he wants that he hasn't already purchased himself or gifts that he won't purchase himself before Christmas time because he's already done that twice now. What? So I had to go and cancel my purchase to get my money back and now I have no big gift for him. I don't know what to buy him. I'm running out of time so I'm having to improvise. I'm Quite frankly, I'm freaking out just a little bit, but I think I have an idea. So yeah, so that's everything that I have to show you guys for his presence so far up until this point. So right now I'm going to put all of this stuff away and then we are gonna go up to Walmart. So I will see you guys at the store. kind of update you guys really quickly. I got everything that I needed from Wally World. I got some boxes that I needed, some wrapping paper, candy to put in his stocking. That was pretty much all I really needed, thank goodness. So that is good to go. Now I'm going to run to the gym really quickly and then I will be back and we can wrap these presents. I'm really excited about it. Not even gonna lie. The lighting is just insane. I'm breaking out like crazy. The stress of Christmas shopping, guys, it's just too much for me sometimes. As you can tell by the fact that it is no longer daylight outside, it is many hours later. I ran quite a few errands, went to the gym, you know, did a lot of stuff. So what I'm about to start doing is I am going to start wrapping the presents. I think I'm going to go and wrap the presents first, and then I'll start decorating his box. Um, yeah, so I'll try and show you as much as I can. Well, while I am at it, I might as well go and show you guys some of the stuff that I bought for his stocking and for the decoration. So I just got some tinsel so I can decorate the box. So I thought that would be kind of cool. I didn't really get a ton of stuff besides like candy, um, but I just got him some Hershey's Kisses. A candy cane, I'll be, because, you know, they didn't have any regular candy canes, which was really weird to me. It was all different flavors, which is dope and all but like I'm trying to eat regular flavor candy canes the OGs and and they didn't have it it's so cute it's like a little hot cocoa thing it looks like a reindeer it's adorable so I got him that so we can make some hot cocoa he loves Reese's so I gotta throw some Reese's in there and then there's some peppermint bark which I love so I thought he might enjoy that too that's pretty much all that he has for his stocking and then I just bought some a bag to put some of the stuff in I bought these really cute bags so earlier I mentioned how some of his presents are too big for me to send so what I'm going to do is to take like little pictures and wrap them um, so he can still open them but he's not gonna actually have the gift there so I got a little bag to put the pictures in so he can open those up so I thought that would be kind of cool and I bought some wrapping paper because why not it's got different um 
pines, which are neat. I really like the different kinds on there. And I can use these to not only decorate the box, but to wrap the presents as well. So I'm excited about that. You know, just boxes. Cute ones, because I'm extra like that. Mm. That's it, let's get to wrapping. Merry and Christmas. So I was gonna draw like a tree and some candy canes and some presents. And these trees apparently are not my forte. I don't know why your girl can't draw triangles to save her life right now. So came up with a backup plan. I'm going to just print out pictures of Danny and I and just put them all over <laughs> the box, which I think will be pretty cute and way more sentimental than a Christmas tree, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna print out a few pictures of him and I tomorrow. And put those on there. Needless to say, it is pretty much all the way done. So I just have a few more things to do. So I'm going to finish it up tomorrow. And you know, like they say, work smarter, not harder. I clearly haven't learned that concept yet. So yeah. And there's a few more things that I'm waiting to come in the mail that also need to be wrapped and put in there as well. So the box is pretty much done. When those things come in the mail, and I get the pictures printed out and I take pictures of his gifts that I'm not sending and put them in there. The box will be ready to go. So I'm really excited. It is currently like 1140. If you know me, you know that's way past my bedtime. And everyone in my house right now is sleeping, hence why I'm talking so low. With that being said, I am going to hit the hay. We will pick back up where we left off in the morning. Good night, sweet dreams, and I'll see y'all in the a.m. Good morning, sunshines. Welcome back. It is day two. Yes, it's day two of this video. I got done with his package around 11.30. I'm just now leaving Wally World for the third time in two days. And I printed out some really cute pictures that I think Danny will like. And I'm going to plop those suckers on the box when I get home. But before I do that, I'm going to go to the gym because I have a lot of stuff to do this afternoon. And once I leave the house to start said things, I'm going to be gone until probably close to 1030 tonight. So I want to go ahead and just get that done. Now I want to get a good gym session. So I'm going to go do that. And then I'm going to go home eat and I will show you the finished product of the box when I get home. Yeah. So we're getting closer to the time. I'm so excited. <laughs> for y'all so honestly who forgets to film an outro this girl 
So, it's your girl back again in the same pajama set that she wore last night. Don't judge. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much fun to make it. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye.